Let's get random. Albuquerque. Snorkel. DaVinci Resolve text effects. Today, I wanna to show you something that I have very recently found. This discovery came out of experimenting I was doing for an upcoming preset pack, but let's jump into Resolve and let me show you what we're gonna be working on. Okay, we're here in DaVinci Resolve and if you happen to have jumped in any of my past live streams, the last few of them I've been working on this pack. It started with this one effect for Dungeons and Dragons like live play videos. It's this one health bar preset where the health bar automatically goes down. You set the parameters over here in the inspector and it automatically animates. I think it's pretty cool. So then I started expanding into different assets that could work in that scenario, one being dice rolls. So I wanted a whole bunch of random numbers and then it lands on a number that the player rolls. But I was running into a few issues with how to do this random number sequence right at the start. So let me create a new fusion composition. We'll jump into fusion and I'll show you a bit of what I was working with. So I had created a text plus effect. And the first thing I tried was just like typing in a number and right clicking and using the text scramble modifier. This is a very cool tool inside Fusion. And if you pull up the randomness a bit, you'll see that no matter what you type in here, it will just cycle between all these different characters and you actually have control over those characters. So at first I just got rid of all the letters. So it was just numbers in there but that would give me numbers between one and 99. I just wanted between one and 20 because you're rolling a D20. So I was messing with like keyframing and duplicating effects. It got messy and complicated and then decided to move away from the text scramble effect. But I wanted to mention it in this video because if you don't know about the text scramble modifier, it's very cool. No, what I wanted to show you, I will bring in a new text effect for, I'll pull that up on the preview because I want to show you a solution that does exactly what I wanted it to do. And we're gonna accomplish this through expressions. Expressions can be complicated and sometimes scary stuff. Expressions are to the Fusion page what the Fusion page can feel like to the edit page. But the good news is that the broader DaVinci Resolve community is amazing. And there are so many amazing resources out there. There are amazing forums like the ones on Blackmagic's own website or the We Suck Less Steak Underwater forums and a lot of independent creators that have put out resources on their own websites. I'm gonna link several of those below, specifically when talking about expressions, sometimes they double up information. But if you wanna dive into uh, this really powerful world, there are tons of amazing places to start. Now, specifically for this video, I am going to check out this website. The website is another DaVinci Resolve blog, and this is actually created by another YouTube creator, John Holt. Uh, he runs a very in-depth focus channel on a lot of fusion and expression and building your own preset stuff. It's DaVinci Resolve How. It's very cool. A lot of the more complicated stuff that I've stumbled into, especially creating presets he does on his channel. Check it out if you're interested, but first we're going to look at this blog post, and it is this giant list of expressions that you can use in Fusion and it lists all the effects they have. It's, it's an amazing resource. But I am going to very quickly just control F and we're gonna type in random. And we see this first one that pops up is about exactly what we want. We will need to modify in a hair and I'll walk through that, but I'm going to select this expression, make sure I am grabbing all of it, control C, hopping back to Fusion and in this new text, effect, I'm gonna right click in this text box and come down to expression. And that gets us this little default text expression. You see it as text and then these parentheses, we're gonna get rid of that and paste in this expression. And if I click away, it'll start to do something. You see this gives us this random number. And because of the first part of this expression, you can see it's doing some stuff with the floor and time and all of that. It changes every six frames. Now we don't want this entirely random number. So we're gonna jump in to where it says random right at the end. And you can see it says random, open parentheses, close parentheses, and we can put stuff in that parentheses. Specifically, we can put the two numbers that we want our random number to fluctuate in between. In this case, one and 20. I clicked away, that changed to a number between one and 20. And now if I just watch back, we have this number that changes every six frames and it's always a random number between one and 20. This is exactly what I wanted. And of course this is every six frames, but we can come down to this time and you see that convenient six. We can change that to something like every three frames if we wanted it to be faster. That might feel a little more dice rolly or maybe even two frames if you wanna get pretty crazy. Another little side trick that I ran to when I was messing with it specifically for the effect I wanna build, specifically where I know these numbers will be flying through. I want it to feel a little more energetic. Coming out of this text effect, 
I can create a motion blur node and you see just around those changes, it gets a little bit of that blur. We can even crank up this motion blur. So now, you know, there's some like movement and interesting momentum. Even though this text is static, we get a little bit of that motion blur coming in. And I think, I think that is especially, I will crank up this size so we can see a little bit better. I think that's pretty cool. Now with my current knowledge, if I wanted this to be this random rotation and then I wanted it to land on a certain number, I would probably accomplish that by just having another uh, text effect with the final number you wanted it to land on. And then that would come into like a dissolve between the two. So you could be like watching the roll and then when you wanted it to, you know, land on a number, you kick that to foreground and it has your final number. I don't know, there's probably more funky expression work you could go into. This is how I would and probably will do it for the animation I'm working on. But hey, random numbers is something I was specifically working for. I found this really cool option dipping into expressions and I thought it would be useful for a lot of you out there as well. I found this process uh, after not working on this D&D pack for a while, so I know I'll probably dip back into that soon. Uh, it's sort of a side project. I have other preset packs and stuff that I think more people will probably use, but this one is still very cool. Stick around for more info on that, for more info on expressions or presets or fusion, for all of that, this is where you want to be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.